Fish and Dorset, are you going, buddy? Do -do -do, do -do -do. Bum, 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 bum. Do -do -do. How are you anyway? Oh, hi, Skyquake. How's it going? Yeah, I'm sound fishing Dorset. Just sorting out my um, low rod for tomorrow morning. Gonna go on an early bass session. So just sorting out my rod and that's setting it all up. Hopefully find a few bass on the beaches. Gonna change it around a little bit. I haven't done much beach fishing for the bass, but I've uh, been told there's quite a few on the beaches. So yeah, hopefully find a few. Dee -dee -dee. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, Hi, mate. Cheers for uh, tuning in. Do -do -do. If you can't if you hit the like button, guys. That'd be awesome. And then share with live. The more the merrier people we get in. Be for a few weeks, so I thought it'd be nice to do a catch up. Probably doing a lot more lives because I've uh, I'm going to change my data on my phone, so that's something to look forward to. Be a lot more lives, like live fishing content. So yeah, ah, uh, cheers, Skyquake, superstar, thanks. How is everyone anyway? Everyone good? I'm going early in the morning, a four o'clocker. But like I said I'm just gonna uh I'm gonna change my uh data on my phone because at the moment it's pretty naff. Uh, I haven't got much like you go live kind of thing and don't last five minutes but I'm going to change that so I'll be doing a lot more live sessions yeah Fish and Dorset I'm doing exactly the same uh, I was on contract but I'm changing it around I'm just going to go on pay as you go you get unlimited data so it's a no brainer really well Baz I'll be definitely doing some more uh, live sessions on the uh, rocks after the bass and bits and pieces. The plan is this year to hopefully hit 1k because the uh, last video I probably like the boat video it seems to be doing pretty well so it shows uh, a lot more people like the like boat videos and stuff. The short videos do do well but compared to the like doing pots and stuff so do a lot more. Hey Philip, how you going mate? Yeah, so hopefully tomorrow we get a few fish. Gonna try a few uh, beach marks for the bass on the lures. Gonna be using, I've got the lure there. We've got the uh, Komono SF-140. Be giving that a go because apparently the uh, bass are liking the hard plastics at the moment on the uh, beaches. Yeah, go for a baz. Why not? Eh? Got to love the darts. Cheers for popping in, though. Really appreciate it. Yeah, for fishing Dorset over here in Guernsey, it's literally an all year round kind of thing in the bass. But uh, January, February time, you start, you get the bigger fish, you get the spawning fish. But yeah, if you catch them kind of thing, you got to be so careful with them because they're full of rye. 
So you gotta uh, like be extra careful with them. Over here. Yeah, fish and dorsal, we got red gill uh, lures over here, like the soft plaster, the small ones. They've been around for ages, eh? And everyone says the same thing. You catch uh, all varieties, pollock, everything pretty much in those. I've got a few in my box. I've never really tried them more than that. Ah, oh, nice fella. Good luck, mate. Hopefully you got a nice cod. Yeah, this is the same thing. I normally catch and release a lot of my fish. I find it's just the fun and entertainment of catching them. They give you a good fight, so reward them with putting them back, eh? The odd one I'll keep for a uh, feast, but very rarely. Yeah, there's all sorts of colours, eh? Uh, fish and Dorsa. You get the blue and white ones, red ones, just white, there's black, all sorts, eh? Maybe that would be maybe a video today. Maybe try the um, lures like that. Do a bath session with them. Dee -dee -dee. Right, so that's the aim this year. Get to 1k subs. A lot more boat fishing. Because I barely used the boat last year. But this year I've got a lot more time on my hands. you taking my nipper out and that. So I really enjoy that. And uh, get a few pots and stuff. And uh, bank fishing, do a few wrecks and reefs and that for the big pollock. Bass fishing on the uh, boat. No, I've never heard of that one, fishing Dorset. Yeah, that's the problem, the estuaries, they uh, bass. In the estuaries, you get it, yeah, it gets like gravy collar pretty quick over a bit of a breeze. Yeah, sky quick, yeah, it should be hopefully good this year. I'm hoping to get between eight and ten pots, so uh, hopefully, get a few lobsters and bits and pieces. Yeah, what sort of lures are they? Like, uh, is that the make of them, fishing door set? Philip, no, I've never tried that. I've tried the uh, like Dexter wedges and stuff like that. I've had bass and them before. But uh, that's what I want to do, uh, like try, is um, like have a little teaser, like a little uh, mackerel feather. So say you've got your like line kind of thing. So say like that. Uh, at the top, have a little teaser with a little bit of line, like a little mackerel feather. And then down, I don't know, another foot or two, have your lure. So it looks like um, like the lures after the uh, mackerel feather, and you have like the bass after the actual lure, so like the actual food chain. So you have like the big fish after the uh, smaller fish, and the smaller fish after the tiny fish. Like all the food chain in one. I reckon it work well. I mean, um, like get two bass on um, one cast, that kind of thing. Hey, fish uh, and catch. How's it going, mate? Cheers for tuning in. Yeah, they're all school fish in Dorset, but they work, eh, mate? Definitely. Like tomorrow on the beach, I want something that's got a bit of a rattle in it kind of thing. I right, say so got the old, um, we'll be trying the IMA there. It's got the old ball bearings in it, so hopefully it'll attract a few fish. But yeah, I say there's a lot to come on the channel. I'm gonna push, like I say, I've gotta push for that 1K this year. It's done really well the channel recently. I say with that last video. Yeah, that's it. Uh, fishing doors. So they get the bass on it. Uh, the bass of the mackerel. Got a bit of glint 
God, especially in this. Pollock is starting to die out a little bit, especially on the shore. Yeah, that's it, Baz. Yeah, I've got to try it. Oh yeah, that's that's the uh, thing. Well, at the moment, uh, at the moment they're flat calm, but uh, they're catching really close into the shore. So hopefully, go there. Uh, I'm planning on going about half five, I think. Five hour five, and the fish till daylight. There's a few beaches I want to try, so hopefully. Guy quite definitely is. So, how, how is everyone's week and going? All good? Yeah, that'd be cool, uh, fishing Dorset. I say, once I've sorted my data out on my phone, when I've got the boat out. I want to do a session on the tope, on the banks, do a live session after the tope. A lot of people uh, say, ah, oh, tope there. Boom, you get the big ones, you get the right gear. Um, and yeah, they can be good fun. Fish and catch, not tomorrow, mate. Uh, I said, I've already got a bit of a problem with the data on my phone at the moment. But when I've sorted that out, I'll uh, be going live a lot more. Like the wife's in the chat. You enjoying uh, your night at work? <laughs> Hopefully taking it easy. Ah, nice fishing Dorset. Oh, I bet, fish and dorset. Let's play some games on your phone. <laughs> Hi, Rednat's a superstar, right? Eh? <laughs> I'm Rick Stein. <clears throat> Get some uh, cooking tips off him. Oh wow, that's cool fishing dogs there. Yeah, uh, Gaza, he's, he'd be a good night out with, I reckon. That's for sure. Same with Parry, I reckon. <laughs> Now, uh, Baz, that's it. I um, I would only use mackerel normally for the tope. Wouldn't use anything else. Oh, cool fishing doors, that's a, uh, yeah, that's something to be pretty proud of, eh? Yeah, I know, darling. Peace and quiet, they're both in bed. Yeah, Dorset's a lovely place, that's for sure. That's it, fishing doors. What you want to do on your live? Say so you've met all those famous people. You'll get loads of subscribers.
Uh, my biggest fish I've ever caught is probably a conger. I was Peter Goodbear in the live. He just donated 20 quid. If you're in the live, buddy, thank you so much. Yeah, uh, thank you, Peter. Um, biggest fish, probably a conger. Probably 30, 35 pound from the boat. I've had tope up to 30 pound. Biggest bass I've had, probably about 14 and a half pound. So yeah, I've had some decent fish in the past. Yeah, Peter is an absolute superstar. And I'll be going towards some uh, fishing gear. I've got the um, CI Fishing Guernsey um, hoodies coming as well. Oh, Fishing Dorset, he is. He sure had as a legend. Yeah, but uh, next week I'll have the hoodies. For uh, Christmas, so we'll have like family hoodies. <clears throat> the two nippers, me and the missus. So yeah, be showing you them uh, when they get here. Hopefully by next Friday they should be here. So we're wearing them on the fishing trips. Oh, he does. He's actually diamond uh, fishing dorset. Much. Are we going towards some uh, new fishing lures or something? That's for sure. Really, really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, cheers, guys. Oh, yeah. They look pretty good, so... Looking forward to them coming. Yeah, the legend's in the chat. Hey Jay, how's it going mate? Hope you're all good. Wild Bloods. Yeah, I'm really good mate. Getting a few people in. Now's your comments, you can hit the like button guys and share that we're live, that'd be awesome. The more the merrier we get in here. But yeah, I'm, uh, like I say, fishing in the morning, early, so hopefully the bass. Dee -dee -dee. Hey, Mr. Diner, how's it going, mate? Cheers for tuning in. Dee -dee -dee. Bum, bum, bum. Dee -dee -dee. We're getting out a lot more as well in the next week, so because the weather looks really good over here in Guernsey for the next week. I want to do a uh, congress session as well. Uh, middle of next week. Yeah, Mr. Donnie, yeah, I'm really well, mate. Yeah, really, really good. And you? Just looking forward to the boat going in the water. Just can't wait. Yeah, I've got one on the channel, uh, Fish and Catch. I've got one uh, that I caught the bass and did a uh, catch. There'll be more to come. The plan is like, um, well, on the shore, do a catch and cook, but on the boat, get one of the little, um, the little barbecues and put it on the, um, like, kind of things to do fresh, like, mackerel catch and cooks and stuff like that. Yeah, 
Tell me about the P. It's not cheap to live in Guernsey, that's for sure, eh, mate? Definitely not. Yeah, well, bloods, you can't go wrong with the um, Savage Gears or the V2s. I say tomorrow I'm going to be using, on the beach, going to be using the IMA lures. But I'm going to try them anyway. That's why I bought the new oven. Do catch and cooks in it. Yeah, well, I went fishing uh, down when I did the live session the other week. And, uh, well, I didn't catch anything. But, uh, yeah, went down to the mart. No one's normally down there normally. There was eight people fishing down there. So then I went down a couple of days after and hoovered up, what did I hoover up? Four uh, Savage Gear V2 lures where I was uh, fishing. Obviously, like, I got caught in the rocks. So, yeah, so it wasn't a bad day for me in the end, finding those lures. Finding four lures. Do, 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 do. Dano have anything on his live uh, when he went out this morning? Oh, I was busy, didn't really tune in more than that. Do, do, do. Uh, fish and catch, best fish. Uh, I, know, I like catching congas, to be honest. Like you got a good fight off them. Bass I love, and probably turbot. I oh, one small turbot. All yeah, right. Still, it's better than nothing, though, I suppose. Eh? Do, do, do. At the moment, there's just bass everywhere over here. So that's, that's the species to fish for at the moment. I think on the banks, it's slow at the moment. Yeah, that's it, Wild Blood. Yeah, you got this um, second body, yeah? I find when the bass, you get three or four bass on the um, on the V2s, the, where the hook goes in, kind of it tears quite easily, especially with how hard the bass hit the lure. But you got that second body and the uh, rats smash them as well. Do, do, do. Yeah, I was what I watched that uh, fish and catch. Again, you can only go uh, where he goes. You can only get there on certain um, tides. Because they, uh, well, the tide goes out, kind of thing. It's got to be a certain tide for the congress to be there. Yeah, Baz, yeah, black bream fight really hard. Do you get the uh, gilt head breams over there? Gilt head breams, they, yeah. They're probably pound for pound the hardest fighting fish while well, we get over here for sure. Oh, definitely, Pete. The trawlers are. Uh, yeah, they do like kind of because you get all the smaller fish, they don't stand a chance, eh? In the uh, trawl, like, like netting kind of thing. All the small fish just gets chopped back dead. That's the problem. Hi there, what's up, Favama? Sorry if I got your name wrong. Cheers for tuning in. Yeah, but Peter, yeah, they definitely do. They, uh, the small fish don't stand a chance and stuff like that. But you don't see the debris that gets chopped over the side of the small fish going back dead. But again, everyone's got to make a living at the end of the day, so.
Yeah, that's cool, uh, Vision Daughter. Bars now, we, they, only in the last three or four years, there's been a lot uh, more Gill Heads. Over here. <laughs> I've never come, I've seen a tuna in the harbour over here. In our harbour, uh, really shallow, just cruising around. But I've never actually had an encounter with one yet. I'd love to catch one. I've heard of people catching on the like bass rods, uh, luring, and they just literally oh, just run your real drive in two seconds, pretty much. There's no chance of stopping them with small gear. That's for sure. Maybe, maybe just uh, do something in the on the boat after a maybe. <laughs> yeah, hopefully uh, bass, they are Pound for pound, one of the hardest fighting fish you're going to find, that's for sure. Definitely. Do -do -do. I'm just looking forward to doing a few more live sessions. Yeah, Philip over here is the same. Uh, there's loads of bream, black bream over here. Absolutely loads. Good fun sporting fish, yeah. Over here, you've got the coochis bream. Have you got the, well, the really, really rare, the white bream? I've never had one of those. I've had all the others, but not a white bream. Yeah, Inshore. How's it going, mate? Peter. <laughs> uh, oh, cheers for donating there, uh, Peter. Absolute legend. Yeah, fish and catch, yeah, you do. You're not allowed to bring them on board, onto the boats or anything. You're not really allowed to fish for them more than that, really. Oh, is that what you got over there, is it, uh, Philip? Ah, nice and sure. What are you after, matey? In short, uh, I know Grand Rock at the moment is fishing really well for the bass. Places like that, Grand Rock and Port Swath. There's a lot of bass in the bays there at the moment. My son is mooching around in the morning, going from beach to beach. Ah, cheers, Peter, mate. Yeah, nice and sure. I'm sure you'll uh, find some, definitely. If yeah, that's still not a bad fish, show for a black bream over the... Yeah, that's classed a nice, like, black bream. Really, that's not a bad fish, that's for sure. Right, I'll be a lot more to come, though, uh, Peter, on the channel this year. Be going bigger and better, that's for sure. Yeah, there's plenty of bass around. I find another beer order. Uh, well, I've only got the kids, but I would have come down. So now I find another nippers. I would have come out for a uh, play with the bait rods. But next time. Oh, Black Breen's lovely, Philip. Yeah, definitely. What baits you got in, Shaw? Yeah, that's always the same inshore. I'm the same. I'm not going to do nothing today, I say, and then 
half an hour after I am gonna go fishing, I think. <laughs> dee dee dee. Bum, bum, bum. Fish and draw it. Cheers, I've tuned in, matey. We'll catch you on the next one, eh? Thanks so much for tuning in. You had any luck yet, Inshaw? Oh, you're definitely going to catch a bass then for sure with, if you got peeler crab, Inshaw. Definitely. Everyone's saying the same, there's just bass everywhere at the minute. That's some decent stuff as well, some decent size. I've only ever had one and I was up behind her. I was on one of the banks before I've never caught one before I'd love to one day that'd be a goal in the future to go away after like Norway or somewhere like that to get the monster um, cod and like big coal fish and stuff like that wolf fish and that well good luck in sure eh? hopefully you uh, get a few bass mate how's it going matey Uh, Peter, uh, one fish I haven't caught that I'd love to. Uh, dee dee dee. Nah, I stomped. I've had uh, like grey mullet and stuff like that before. Uh, maybe like golden grey mullet or something like that. I'd love to. Yeah, no worries in shore. Yeah, was that uh, yeah, was that over here, Peter? Like kind of in Guernsey, or just in general, catch like any fish that I'd love to catch. Of course, well, I can't really think of what I haven't caught on the shore that we get over here. Really, on the rods, more than that. Dee dee dee. Yeah, I'd say probably, yeah, golden grey mullet, I reckon. Do -do -do. Yeah, I reckon golden grey mullet, Peter. To be honest. I can't really think of anything else, really, more than that. That's what I want to do. Do a nice uh, mullet session as well. They, they're a bit scarce at the moment. Yeah, Peter, I've had uh, no uh, word of a lie. I've caught golden grey mullet down the south coast on lures. I had a golden grey mullet took the lure in its mouth. Uh, I mean, yeah, grey mullet. Hey, Kevin. Cheers for tuning in, mate. Yeah, down the south coast, Peter, you got some absolute monster mullet down there, and they don't seem to be afraid of anything. That's a video I want to do, definitely on the channel, a nice mullet session. Dee dee dee. So, if you can't, as you can't. Live and share it, get as many people in as possible. That'll be really appreciated. Yeah, that's it, Baz. There's always um, species that you haven't caught, or haven't heard of, and you catch them or stuff like that. Eh? 
Dee -dee -dee. That's why I went on the boat this year. My target's a nice big brill. You can't beat uh, brill for a taste. Ah, uh, cheers, Kevin. Superstar, mate. Thanks, David, as well. Dee -dee -dee. We'll be doing a bit. Next few days, and that'll be helping my dad with the uh, boat. So I'll, I might do a live. Uh, like showing you around the boat if everyone's interested in that. I was doing a little bit of work and stuff like that on it. That's only if everyone uh, wants to see that. Yeah, they do that a lot. When the uh, golden grey mullet in that common, they use the little spoons, eh? But yeah, and you get the bass in them as well, Philip. Yeah, I've never really tried it more than that. A certain time of the year over here, when the golden grey mullet come in and have a wall, you'll see 10 people all fishing along the wall. After them, the spoon spinners with the salted rag. Yeah, they went to bed fine. Yeah. Hey, you right, Casey? Did you go fishing last night, mate? Dee dee dee. Bum, 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 bum. Cheers everyone for tuning in as well tonight guys. I said it's only just a catch up with everyone. So I've been live for a while. Dee -dee -dee. Just looking forward to getting out in the morning after the bass. That's a shame Casey. You just come out in the morning mate. I'm going in the morning, so if you want to tag along, feel free. It's only been a couple of hours session, but where are you heading anyway tonight? Ah, right, cheers, Skyquake. Yeah, cheers, Philip. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm pretty hopeful that I'll find a bass, for sure. Oh, definitely lure fishing, uh, Peter, 100%, mate. I like bait fishing, because you don't know what you're going to catch, but it's the uh, moving around on the rocks and that, from place to place, mark to mark, and getting that smash from a, uh, a uh, bass. I love it. Yeah, David, I bet, mate. I said we're lucky over here. We get bass pretty much all year round over here. You might get the odd three or four weeks when you get the spawning fish go out and it goes a bit quiet, but apart from that, it's pretty much bass and all. Yeah, that's a cracking fish bass. Absolutely beautiful. 14 and a half pounds, my biggest I've had. And that was on the boat. But yeah, to be 12 catching a fish like that, that's pretty impressive, eh? <laughs> Philip, yeah. <laughs> ah, I love my bass fishing. I must say, if everyone's enjoying uh, me making the bass videos, I'll uh, still be making a lot more of them. Just going to vary, like, vary off a bit. If I went forage with my cousin the other night, didn't see nothing. I thought, oh, we're going to get a bass or something in the net or a lobster. Didn't see a thing. Bit of a breeze on the um, like surface of the water made it a bit awkward to see that. But I want to uh, yeah, do a bit more foraging and stuff like that, vary the channel a lot. Dee dee. Yeah, not a bad fish day. See them anymore like that. If you catch a six to eight pound bass nowadays over in Guernsey, you yeah, done really well to be honest. It's all smaller fish. Dee 
now. A good stamp of fish over here, like on average, probably between four and five pound, really. Yeah, that's nice, Baz. Oh, you can't beat lure fish, and I absolutely love it. Uh, tide coming up, uh, fish and catch over here, high tide is 10 o'clock in the morning. So tide would have been coming up, what, a couple of hours in the morning when I go. So it's good on the beach because the bass follow the bait fish up the beach. They come really, really shallow. But if I'm fishing on the rock bars, I prefer fish and tide going down. But on the beaches, you get all the fish that come right up after the Oh, it is, David. Yeah, you can't beat bass fishing. You get that first bass on the lure, and yeah, you're hooked straight away. It don't matter how many I catch, I'll, I'll always be addicted to bass fishing. Nah, I'm not, mate. I'm not down parallel in the morning. I'm probably going to try, I think, mean, like Portsmouth. Grand Hall. Now, Baz, I said uh, on I think a couple of my videos on my channel, if you haven't seen them, uh, I can't, one of my, I don't know, probably in my first 10 videos, I think, I had a bass, literally, I was about to pull the lure out of the water, and the old bass came out. I know, you'll see it on the video. Uh, it comes after the lure. Yeah, that's it, Casey. There's going to be a lot of people out, mate. Inglorious, how's it going, matey? Well, yeah, a lot of people are after the bass at the minute, that's for sure. Dee -dee -dee. Bum, 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 bum. You are fishing tomorrow, Dano, on the boat. Oh, that's it, David, for sure. I don't know how many bass I've had this year. Good few already. Ah, nice and glorious. Yeah, see, you want that big uh, dustman, did eh? Really? You'd have thought there'd be quite a few around, eh? Uh, on the banks at the moment. Yeah, definitely, Casey. Yeah. The surface. The bass ain't as active over here at the minute. No, the water's cold, so they tend uh, not to be as uh, active. But I say, if you want to go out for a trip, Casey, just give me a shout kind of thing. Like one evening we go out after the bass, that's no problem, or after work or whatever. Yeah, Baz over here, we've been pretty lucky at the moment. We've had no wind uh, recently, and the water's been gin clear over here. Nah, that's it, glorious, eh? On the banks, they used to get bass and pollock and all that. You don't really see them anymore, to be honest. Yeah, I can't remember how many bass I had last year. A good few. I mean, my best I think I've ever done is over 250 bass in a year. And that's sure and boat combined. But that was me fishing pretty much every single like, uh, day after work and that. Yeah, that's it, Glorious, for sure. Uh, Dave, yeah, I've, I enjoy my uh, surf slur fishing for the bass. You can't beat when the old, you see the old uh, bass's mouth.
What's that? Yeah, I've had Pollock on the uh, Lures case. My biggest lure called Bass is £8.9 on the shore. But you, again, case you don't really see the Pollock more than that over here. Not on the Lures, uh, not anymore. You got the odd one here and there, but nothing like it used to be. That's for sure. Now you get the pollock on the reefs on the boat and stuff like that. Yeah, you used to be able to go with the floats all the time down the lighthouse, KC, and uh, you pull them out for fun, the pollock. Not anymore. They're starting to die out on the shores. Yeah, that's it, David. Uh, that's what I'm going to try tomorrow. I want to try a new spot tomorrow. Yeah, when you uh, when you want to go uh, live, Dano, I'm happy to come into your live, mate. I'm happy to. I was only coming in for a quick chat. So. Hopefully you get him to sleep and yeah, I'll be in your live, mate. Yeah, that's good, uh, 100 bass, that's good going, mate. Nah, so it's good bait fishing for the bass, but you got more chance of catching more fish than the lures with moving all the time. That's the thing with lure fishing, you got to be on the move all the time. 10, 15 casts in one spot, if there's nothing, move on. They're not there. Now you watch some people kind of in there fish the same spot on the lures for 20 minutes with no lock. You gotta move. You gotta be prepared to move. Dee dee dee. Bum 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 bum. Yeah, Keith, yeah, that's it. You go, go down the lights on the floats of the night, you'll be pulling them out. Every you, Your bloody um, float will be hitting the water within two or three minutes, you'll have a pollock. And when you used to be able to fish at the control tower. Pollock down there. Yeah, that's good, Dave. It's just been overfished, I think, the pollock, uh, more than that, really. That's the problem. You don't even see the small pollock anymore. Tune in, bud. I know for you when you dart. Yeah, that's it, David. But I normally nine times out of ten, you can you got that. You know when the fish are there. Sometimes, kind of, you just have that feeling. Yeah, they're going to be here. But then sometimes you think, nah, it's time to move. That's how I see it. Anyway, you might be different, like uh, where you are. Like every certain times and states of tide, the fish are there. Then you think, yeah, they're gone. Move on, like over here. Oh, definitely, KC. Yeah, hundred percent. That's the problem. That's what I was saying earlier in the live. All the smaller fish they don't stand a chance. I've been with the trawl and a lot. It's just going to be. Fish and catch, yeah, absolutely. A lot of people say it's not, it's well underrated, Pollock. Absolutely lovely. I'll say it's up there with, it's not as good as turn. Lovely fish, especially battered. Yeah, that's it, Casey. Everything's just getting, gonna get destroyed. That's the problem. All the small fish, you don't see it like kind of thing. All the small fish just getting dumped over the side. Dead, eh? That's no good. There should be a certain bracket in the year when you control and then it should be stopped kind of thing. When the uh, fish is spawned and stuff, shouldn't be allowed to troll. Simple. So all those reproducing fish get the chance to breed again and so on and so on. The 
fishing's nowhere near as good as what it was 10 years ago over here, that's for sure. Nowhere. Like the fishing club that used to, I used to get that bloody five ton pollock when we go out on the trips on mackerel and stuff. You don't see any bass or anything anymore in the reefs, more than that. I know a guy, he's uh, been out fishing the west coast on his boat a bit further out on the reefs. And that is it. Oh, that says it all, really. Dee -dee -dee. If you're going tomorrow, mate, like which bank? Godine or. Dee -dee -dee. Bum, 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 bum. Peter, yeah, I've got a video on Leo. I had that one bass, but I want to do another session over there because it was a blow and it was crap but yeah leo island for fishing is crazily good especially well not i've only fished a uh, handful of times over there but on the super dinghies and stuff it's stupid fishing how good it is it's bass like city that's it casey yeah that's when it's letting all these other uh like countries come into our water and stuff like that and yeah, it's us going to be um, the ones not happy in the future because there's nothing left. That's it, David. Yeah. Right, so I just enjoy catching the bass. I'll keep the odd one now and again, especially not this time of year. One or, uh, one or two per 10 sessions, like can you, uh, kind of, and you keep. That's fair enough, I say. But one good thing over here at the moment, we've got a lot of smaller bass, like schoolies, which is really good for the future. We've got a lot, a lot of smaller fish. So it shows the bass are like spawning kind of thing, which is uh, nice to see. Yeah, that's it, fish and catch. Yeah, Peter, it is a really good uh, spot for fishing. It looks like, it's on, like when you're fishing from the shore, there's, it's an awkward place to fish because you get there too late when the tides really lie and uh, there's not much area to fish there, really. You want to be there, like, as soon as you can get across, if you've got waders, uh, get there before the course where fish there. But yeah, I might, maybe on the next big um, tide, I might hop along to leave. I want to do a Hearn trip as well again. While the bigger bass are around. You have some big clunking bass over in Hearn this time of year. My, uh, like I say, once my phone's sorted, my date is sorted, I'll, uh, if I do go over to Lee, I'll do a live over there with the lures. If everyone's interested in seeing something like that. Bum, bum, bum. Mm -mm -mm. Dee -dee -dee. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Boom, 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 boom. Mm -mm -mm. 
So that's the thing, what would people like to see on the channel in the near, uh, near future? Like, carry on doing what I'm doing, like the bass fishing and mixing up, or that'd be nice to know what people would like to see. So I'll have the boat in the water soon, so like what trips you want, what you'd like me to uh, go for on the boat and stuff like that. Dee -dee -dee. We'll have the nipper out on the boat as well, so you love that. Hopefully get him a few species. Yeah, give me two seconds fish and catch. I'll uh, just pop out to the car, it's two seconds away. Uh, my three uh, top uh, surf slurs, David, uh, well, go and grab them. I'll be two seconds. I can find my bloody uh, car keys. <laughs> uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, if I can find them. Got so many bloody lures in here. So we are, David. Uh, we got surface lure that does really well. Got the Samson bomb there. That's an absolute cracking uh, lure for the bass. Cast like an absolute buller. Oh, this is 20, probably 28. But yeah, you cast that into the wind, it will go like a missile. And the bass love it, especially in a bit of surf. Then we got, so many bloody lures in here. My, Favourite bass uh, lure from last summer is uh, the Lorenzo Espacy. This is absolutely awesome in the tide. Got this one given by Garn Fish and Tap Shop off Instagram. He gave it to me. I had stupid amounts of bass on this lure last year. Another surface lure skips nicely, but it's got to be fished in tide. Don't work as well, and there's not much tide. And then third. Got too many bloody lures in one box. You got the uh, Panchico 125. It's an absolutely banging lure, this. The amount of bass on these on the kayak. Go and check the videos out on the channel. Fishing with this lure. But you can get the 140, the bigger lure. But yeah, the Panchico and the Lorenzo SPC, you ain't gonna really beat them, to be honest. Especially for like uh, surf, especially in the summer. Now, uh, David, they are really good. The um, Samson uh, bomb, absolutely cracking there. Uh, so that's what I've done uh, as well. 
as a live, uh, using my favourite like bass lures and stuff like that. If people are interested in, gives someone uh, gives people the idea of what to use. It's not to say you're, you're going to catch them, but what other lures have I got in here? Dee -dee -dee. There you are, the uh, Savage Gear V2 in white. Hands down, best uh, bass lure going. Uh, uh, my point of view, anyway. Definitely. Like kind of you can see there, it's uh, where the hook's supposed to sit. The bass hit it so many times it, it's ripped it. You haven't caught in the uh, Panchico, David? Oh, hands down, Panchico, it's up there with uh, my favourite uh, surface lure for bass. And in general, uh, favourite bass lure, really. Oh, there's so many bass on there, that. There we are, we've got the uh, Savage Gear V2 button weedless. They're good, but the only problem is with these, the rats absolutely love them. Yeah, David, yeah, the IMA lures are really, really good. That's what I'm trying tomorrow. I've got the uh, Kimono, the SF145. Uh, I'm going to be fishing that on the beach tomorrow. But I've never really done well, to be honest with them. I've never really done well, the IMA lures. Ah, no worries, fish and catch. Yeah, the Glide, yeah. I don't know if you, you probably all watch fishing with Cal. He's been catching really well on the Hound, eh? the IMA Hound, recently. There we've got the old version there, the Savage Gear. you got the... Oh. Yeah, like the movement in that one, that's the older version of the Savage Gear. But there's not as hardly what there is in the new one. That's why I reckon they fish a lot better. Uh, David, in the summer, when the weather's really uh, hot or early in the morning, just as uh, daylight's starting to come in the summer with the surface lures, on really shallow ground, you'll find bass, mate, definitely. Well, the lures are caught really well for me. Dee -dee -dee. That's the lure, the um, Sidewinder Green Hill. I have my, my biggest bass on the shore on that one. Cracking it up, I've used it for a while. But yeah. Okay, David, yeah. That's about it. Uh, they're really great lures, the Iron Maid. Like I said, I've never really caught them. They're just so bloody. It's going to lose one, get it ho uh, hooked on the rocks, and you lose. That's a 20, 25 pound lure gone. Eh? That's the only problem. All right, this one I've got here. Oh, I'll give this one a shot tomorrow as well. The uh, Suzuki 120. That's another cracking uh, lure. But it's never done really well, then, to be honest. You got the uh, scary zeal there, hands down by far the lure I've caught uh, most bass on. I've had hundreds of bass on this lure. This is the one like kind of you can't find a bass. You stick this one on, you're normally nine times out of ten gar uh, guaranteed to catch. Let's get the sky remote TV's turned off. <laughs> but yeah, it's just nice to show you guys some of the lures I use. Oh, you got the gravity stick there. These on the beach is absolutely kill for bass. I'll probably end up giving that a go in the morning. Spinning it really, really sly. The bass love them. Just with the, uh, you got the weighted hook there. So this gives you that bit more casting distance when you cast them. Ah, oh, cool, David. Yeah, that's been with me. I tend to uh, stick to the lures will catch for me normally. <laughs> I say the surf though, got the uh, Esposito and the Panchico and the um, Samson Bump. Nice lures. Like the lead heads, like the Savage Gear, the Scary Zeal, 
you got the uh, Candy Kings um, Sidewinder lure works really well. Uh, hard plant. I don't really. I used to use a lot more hard plastics, but I've tended to sway away from them a little bit. This is another lure. I don't know if anyone's ever tried uh, the Max Wraps. This thing, cheap as chips, the Rapala Max Wrap, and I've had loads and loads and loads of bass from this lure. Basic kind of thing, but got it fish as well. Nah, David, I've never used metals before for uh, bass. Never tried it. Oh, apart from the um, Savage Gear Seeker saying that. Sorry, yeah, I've caught in the Savage Gear Seeker before. But yeah, they're hard metals. Especially over here, it's so shallow the water we fish. Like you'd lose them all the time, that's the only problem. Dee -dee -dee. Ah, uh, cheers, Lloydies, mate. Thanks for that big one, Lloyd. There, yeah. that's for sure, mate. Yeah, if everyone could hit the like button, guys, and share that we're live, that'd be really appreciated. Get some new faces in here, and hopefully, a few new subscribers. If you're not subscribed, feel free to subscribe because there's a lot more to come on the channel. That's for sure, bigger and better content, definitely. Dee -dee -dee. I was in your life before, Lloydies. Look quite good, mate. Yeah, David, definitely, hands down, I say my favourite bastler has to, at the moment. This moment in time has got to be the Savage Gear V2. I, say, I said earlier in my live, when I went on my uh, live the other week, uh, down where I've been fishing recently, I couldn't believe I went down. Normally I'm the only one fishing. Eight people fishing down there after the bass. It was crazy. But yeah, it was. Uh, I found four lures down where I fish. So it's a win-win for me. All Savage Gear V2s. <laughs> Yes, no problem, Lloydies, mate. Cheers for tuning in, bud. That's what I like with the Savage Gears. They're uh, not stupidly priced. Six quid for one lure. And I say the IMA lures, they are brilliant lures, but you're looking at £20 for a lure, right? Eh? You get... And they fish just as well. Dee dee dee. Bum, bum, bum. I've never got any other lures that I've actually done really well on there. Well, that's another good one. Yeah, you, know, you got the, uh, another Savage Gear lure there. I've had a few, that's a 23 gram one, that one. This is Sandy. I've had a few bass in this one. That's the thing over here. Uh, we got a lot of sand eels over here. So anything green or white works really well. Yeah, that's it, David. Eh? That's what it's about, really. The fish ain't feeding, you're not going to catch. It's as simple as it gets with the bass. Fair enough, feeding for better the water over here from they go into a feeding frenzy yeah you are about that one david the uh savage gear it's good for the bass but the rats absolutely love oh, normally nine times out of ten the rats get to the lure quicker than the bass do but again uh, i love bat, uh, rats fishing as well D -d -d -d. I won't be staying live that, that much longer, guys. There's only two. Have a good catch up with you. Gotta be up early in the morning. <laughs> dee dee dee. Boom, 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 boom. So, if anyone's got any other questions they want to uh, want answered, 
fire them up there. Dee -dee -dee. I find over here the night fishing's been really good recently as well. Over here. Bum, bum, bum. Dee -dee -dee. I say I want to get out a bit this week. I'll be out tomorrow morning. I want to do a conga trip middle of the night. When the bass fishing is not as good. Maybe do a cliff session or something like that. It's certainly got colder over here, that's for sure, in the last week or so. Temperature's dropped a lot. Yeah, hopefully for you, David. Yeah, oh, we got a lot of sand deals over here. That's why, hence why the green and the white lures work really well over here for the bass. Like, one, I like to stick to a certain colour. I hate, uh, I would never use bright, really bright lures or anything like that. It just puts me straight off kind of thing. I like something that looks natural. Where are you from, David, anyway? You don't mind me asking. Ah, oh, nice, David. Um, come to his island in the future. Especially after the bass. I've always, uh, I grew up watching like Henry Gilby and that. When he used to fish in like Ireland after the bass and Pollock and stuff. And yeah, I've got to one day get over there for the bass. And Ireland is an absolute stunning place as well. Nice and relaxed as well. Definitely that's a uh, place... I want to uh, well, bring the channel to in the future, that's for sure. Definitely is David. He's been. I've spoken to him a lot on Instagram and that before. Well, yeah, he's an absolute uh, legend. Love his uh, like well, wild fishing with Henry, and he had his uh, bass uh, DVD. Kraken fisherman, that's for sure. 
I'd love to meet him in person, definitely, one day. Been trying to get hold of his like uh, DVDs, like he's fishing on the edge, like um, box sets and that, but you can't find them. He's uh, now he does like help and make like the Savage Gear layers, not like, the Savage Gear V2, the new make, he uh, helped design it. Hey, Timothy, how's it going, matey? Yeah, he did, David, yeah. He does uh, a lot. Um, yeah, he does a lot uh, towards like the making the lures, making them better. I don't know if you probably went better here. Oh, where is he? Right there. Like with these Savage Gear V2 now, you, uh, you ain't gonna hear that. It's got the rattle in it now, they've got the little ball bearings in the back of the tail. Design. Yeah, I'm really good, Timothy, mate. Yeah. So it's doing a live just to catch up with everyone. Just a quick one, I ain't gonna be staying live much longer. So I'm going out early in the morning after the bass. Dee -dee -dee. Bum, bum, ba -da -bum. Need another chance to go. Uh, you were supposed to go nice fishing, weren't you, Timothy? But you didn't, you didn't in the end, did you, mate? Yeah, if you'd like catch Timothy, that'd be awesome if I do. Cheers, that buddy. No, that's it, David. I like bait fishing, don't get me wrong, but you, you can't beat that smash on the back of the lure, like kind of thing from a bass. That's the thing. I will do, I will do a video uh, bait fishing for the bass, just, just on the channel kind of thing, but yeah, I prefer lure fishing any time. Nah. It's, it's pretty cold, ain't it, where you are, Timothy? <laughs> the snow is pretty thick, eh? That's for sure. Yeah, cheers for tuning in, Tim. Uh, yeah, hopefully I'll find a bass tomorrow. Bloody hell, Timothy. Foot of snow. Over here, everyone gets excited when you get half an inch of snow over here. Or quarter of an inch of snow. Oh, definitely, uh, being around the world. That's for sure, yeah, it's an absolute legend. So that's one world. I grew up watching the likes of Henry, you had like Rex Hunt, uh, Matt Hayes, uh, John Wilson. Sadly, now he's uh, passed on. But again, absolutely amazing fisherman. I spent my Friday nights, me and my cousin, you uh, spend, used to have a lot of what it was now, might have been Discovery Shed. I used to spend from, uh, from 8 o'clock at night till 12 o'clock watching all the fishing uh, channels on the TV. Used to love it. Nah, that's all right, Timothy. You can keep them, mate. I'm not really bothered by snow. It'd distract the fishing. I wouldn't be able to get out. <laughs> Do you 
Well, I'm still on for another five minutes, guys. Can they sort my lures and that out and my bag and that for in the morning? And hopefully, all going well, in the next couple of days, uh, we'll have a nice bass video. Because at the moment, I've got nothing in store, not content wise. So, uh, I'm going to hopefully going to catch something to make a video. Yeah, cheers, uh, Jim. They really appreciate it, mate. That's another channel I'm starting to like. He's like new to it all. It's like um, amateur angler. I don't know if you have, if anyone uh, hasn't checked out his channel. He's another upcoming, well, uh, Guernsey channel. So if you haven't checked him out, go and give him a sub. He'd really appreciate that. He wants to get to 100 subs. I quite like his, uh, yeah, his banter and that. He's happy go lucky kind of bloke. So you go and sub to his channel, that'd be awesome. I'm going to do a video of him, he wants to go out, so... Dee -dee -dee. Yeah, it's getting there, Timothy. I'd say my 100% goal this year well, I want to do it before the end of the year. Like I say, as soon as I think, as soon as I start going on the boat and that, and putting different content up and stuff, I think it will. Cause like the um, commercial, like potting video, I just done really well. Like that's the thing on the boat and that doing pots and different fishing and that people enjoy that. Like the bass fishing, that's really good. Like people, I still be doing a lot of bass fishing on the shore. But I think the boat videos and stuff like that do a lot better. Yeah. Used to watch him constantly. <laughs> now nah, that's it, Timothy. At least if you got the boat, you can do the pots like kind of thing as you go out, and then do a bit of bass fishing or bank fishing, reef fishing. It's all you got so much variety you can do on the boat. That's what I didn't have last year, with so much going on. And up for this year, yeah. The channel's hopefully going to uh, do pretty well. Has anyone got any questions or anything? Because I'm going to, well, think about ending it uh, shortly. So far I'm aware if you've got any questions. Otherwise I'm going to uh, chill out and watch the TV for a little bit. And then, uh, yeah, get ready for the uh, fishing in the morning. Appreciate everyone that's uh, tuned in. That's a big shout out to... Uh, Peter Gubber for um, donating as well. Superstar for doing that. Yeah, cheers, Timothy. Thanks for tuning in, mate. And enjoy this now. <laughs> Oh, you can't beat it, Timothy, that's for sure, eh, mate? Thanks, Mr. Diner. Really appreciate you tuning in. Thanks very much. I'll say I want to do a lot more live. As soon as I've got my data sorted on my phone and I've got a limited data, I'll be out doing a lot, lot more uh, live sessions. 
hopefully giving you some tips and helping everyone out, that kind of thing. That's what the channel is about. I just appreciate everyone uh, tuning in. Right, well, I'm going to end it there, guys. Anyway, I'll say cheers, everyone, for tuning in. And, yeah, hopefully in the morning we'll uh, find a few fish. So keep an eye in the next couple of days, hopefully. If you haven't checked my Instagram out as well, I've, uh, it's CI Fishing Guernsey. Or Gu uh, CI Fishing uh, Guernsey, yeah. So uh, go and uh, follow me on there. I put all my stuff up when I'm going to go live and when the videos are going to go up. So go and check that out. So, yeah, hopefully tomorrow we'll get the fish. And you'll have a video in the next couple of days. Cheers for tuning in, and we'll catch you really soon. Thanks, guys.